Morning all, Pete Delete. Um, I'm Weld Road, New Plymouth, a couple of beaches south of New Plymouth, New Zealand. And uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, there's a little wave peeling through. Quite nice, I'll probably get out there later. Um, had a gig in town last night and uh, all went well. But um, just being in town, the frequency of the, 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 all the Wi Fi and the electricity and all the negative people and, and at the end there was all the, all the drunk people out front and pretending they're happy and talking shit and you know, usual stuff. That's why I escaped London to get away from all of that. Uh, it's just horrible. Didn't, didn't sort of realise the full impact of it at the time, but I certainly do now. Um, so yeah, I just come to the beach this morning, um, just re-energise, get grounded and uh, earthed and in the ocean, just take all that scattered energy away and recharge and then I'm going to go back and just do the final read through of two little books that I'll be dropping off the publisher later in the week and uh, so yeah another day in paradise um, poem yeah I didn't, uh, yeah obvious one uh, prayer of the ocean it's um, from the ocean for us and, and I, this is a favorite of mine I think it's probably of all of them it's because of the impact it's had in my life getting to the ocean, you know, when I was 20, I left London and went down to the coast with my surfboard and a little van and just freedom, eh? a few tools and nothing planned. My whole future lay ahead of me, and uh, yeah, here we are. So, um, rush to me as you with clouded brain and heavy shoe, leave a life you must conform. Wash cares away in tempest storm. Observe your life of harm <laughs> in depth of blue and mirror calm. I find no joy in wealth. Swim freely in me. Restore your health. Stroll away as me with naked foot and heart set free. For I do not judge nor blame. I ebb and flow, my love the same. Just thought then uh, about know, eight, eight years ago, I had a girlfriend and everything was rocking, beautiful lady and uh, very interesting character. Um, and eventually, yeah, she wanted me to fix her life and, and pay her bills and because I wouldn't do that, all I just did was just kept loving her and the more angry she got, the more I love her and that really pissed her off. She started throwing knives and all sorts of old carry on, and all the anger come up. And uh, she thought I put that there, you know. I mean, I think people don't realise that when anger comes up, it's not the person in front of you that's put it there. Generally, it's someone in your past. So what I've learned to do is, um, when I feel something coming up and it doesn't happen anymore, because when it comes up, instead of reacting and outburst, the person that's brought it up in me, in my head, I just thank you for showing me there's anger in me or fear in me or rage or jealousy or guilt or that, you know they didn't put it there generally it's people from the past but we hang on to it so i'm doing a big part of my healing um but anyway so this lady left and i bit by i thought no i'm gonna hang on i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna go down that's old patterns you know girlfriend would come i'd be up girlfriend would go i'd be down so i for i just just lock myself away to really get to the bottom of it and uh, and I did I saw uh, as a child my mum wasn't happy you know and many reasons and I know the reasons now but uh, as a kid you just want to please your parents so that was a part of it uh, my teachers were all women and my handwriting was never good enough my uh, signature wasn't right um, my, my art wasn't recognised, my work was never good enough and all I wanted to do was be recognised as a little kid by these people which were all women so I think that's what I got to, so I got to the bottom of it and lots of other stuff so I just went deep as the depression went deeper I just dropped into it, dropped into it and it got deeper and deeper and deeper and all these things were shown to me other, lots of interesting stuff and we'll go into them later but um, and, and I was just hid away. I didn't want to be happy. I didn't want to be joyous. I wanted to go into depression. It's the it's where we learn all the lessons. And uh, but after probably four months, I realised I'd gone a bit deep and my health was suffering. There was nothing more to learn at that stage. So I got a sleeping bag and a lighter. Went down the beach. Didn't get medications. Funny. Didn't want to get out of the depression that way because well you can't. It doesn't. It just dulls it if you're lucky. 
So I uh, went to the beach with a sleeping bag lighter, lit a fire because it was winter, got in the ocean and just stayed in as long as I could and got cold to the core, come out, fizzing, clear mind, got in the sleeping bag, slept a little, woke up and just as soon as that first negative thought come, back in the ocean. I did that probably eight times in the night. And by the morning, I was fizzing, f clear mind, from the deepest depression, I was just glowing, you know? So I set about making lists, dealing with things I need to deal with, facing up to people, all the things that depressed people know they have to do, but are hiding from, fears especially. And that was the end of my mental illness in that stage. Later on, another, I got dropped into another profession because I'd missed something, and so I went into that, and We'll talk about that another day. Anyway, waffled enough. Um, so today I'm going to do a final read through of um, two books. Um, my little children's book, The World Through the Eyes of a Child, which is where I'm back to now. Just, just, just miracles everywhere. And uh, the other one is The Wordly Spoken, which is uh, sort of my journey in poetry. When I started, these poems came through. I was showing in meditation to time and date them. It's a timeline of my journey from the depths of despair to where I am now. And where I am now is World Road, New Plymouth, and I'm going to get my bath off my roof tonight and light a fire and get all my friends around, a bit of music, a bit of jamming. I'll probably do a blog, so I'll hopefully see you there. Have an awesome day, guys. Check out the pipe.